a tourist and his wife, stuck in the river sludge. He rushed to help them and first took their expensive camera and shooting gear to the dry part of the area. He could have easily taken everything. As we see, they were completely helpless. They couldn't have done nothing, they couldn't have stopped him whatsoever. But his virtual soul was aiming higher than that. He returned trying to save them, but it was hardly easy. The man was old, heavy, and deeply sunk in that mud. Many human beings, unfortunately, if we are in that young man's shoes, they would have taken advantage of the situation. But this young man knew that lending a helping hand to a person in need is a fortune and that he humility is an ornament. Then we see he decided to take away the old lady's belongings so they don't get ruined by the dirt. Again, he could have taken the bag with whatever in it. Here he returns again to resume his rescue mission. And this move, in this particular moment here, is by God astonishing. See how beautiful humanity can be. See the marvelousness of selfishness. He ultimately used his own body used his own body as a slab for them to step on. He was not thinking about who these people were, what is their origin, what brought them to my country. I think it's in him by instinct that whoever saved the soul it should be regarded as though he had saved all mankind as the Quran says. And it shows that he fell towards them as if they were his own mother and father, regardless of race, color, and religion. And as much as his body was soiled in that sludge, his soul must have been elevating high in the sky, for that's indeed a noble deed. And now he made it. Thank you, son. Thank you, ma'am. And that was it. Did he bargain? Did he wait for something in return? A commission, maybe? Impossible. Not this man. This guy is different. Different to those the world is all about materialistic gain. Now, his humanitarian mission is accomplished, he left with grace and clear, satisfied conscience.